Hi guys, I'm back. I am going to talk to you guys about deployment, just letting you guys continuously know what we're going through with deployment. If you want to see my other deployment videos or military life videos, just look in my playlist on my page. Um, I'll try to update that with all the videos in one little spot on the playlist. Um, so I'm going to talk to you about deployment months three, four, and five. And let me tell you, the way that I can just um, sum it up in a phrase of how these past few months have been is ain't nobody got time for that I mean, I feel like I don't have time to even think like make a grocery list No, I ain't got time to be thinking about no grocery list or when I can go grocery shopping or when I could do this or that Like that's been the whole thing because I have like so much to do and so little time and don't even know when I'm gonna get stuff done so anyway um, first I'll talk about the third month and the third month is when I think the kids and I got more settled in on like, um, more of a routine. So we kind of figure out like really how to do things and get stuff done and you know, we just got settled into more of a routine finally. So that was good. Also the third month, my aunt came to visit and oh my gosh, she was just so helpful. Like I expected her just to come here and kind of relax and enjoy it here. But no, I mean, she just fell in. I didn't even ask her to do stuff. And you know, she fell in. So it was like, I would come home from work cause I, I work full time. I would come home from work and all the laundry is done. The clothes are folded up like she works in a boutique or something. I mean, dishes done. I mean, everything just be done. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm going to hijack your plane ticket and you're not ever leaving here. So it was great, you know, and it was also nice to have another adult in the house just to talk to and be with and, you know, um, just to be around or whatever. So that was good about then. But then like after she left, I kind of crashed. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to do this by myself again. So that was the third month. The fourth month was, I was pretty much um, preparing, I was really excited because a few weeks after she left, um, my mom was coming in a few weeks and she was going to stay like two and a half weeks. So I was pretty much preparing for her to come and just excited about that. So I just had that to look forward to. And then um, she came and oh, she was a, just a wonderful help as well. I, I'm pretty sure you guys can imagine. So it was just great and the kids and I did a lot of stuff with her and um, she was just a great help like I hate it when she left I'm like oh my goodness like can you quit your job and just stay here until he comes back <laughs> so um, that was nice and that pretty much lasted the whole fourth month um so I did good the fourth month now the fifth month she left so again I crashed and I'm like oh my goodness I think the fifth month I just felt like an emotional roller coaster up and down up and down you know it was just all over the place um the kids, um, the whole time we've been dealing with deployment with the kids is that they've just been on a lot of activities. Not overwhelming, but, you know, I keep them busy. We stay busy. It helps the weeks and the, especially the weekends go by. So the fifth month, their activities were winding down. We didn't have as much going on, which was a good little break because, you know, that gets tiring, overwhelming. Um... Also, you know, we were kind of like thinking about plans of things to look forward to because the holidays are coming up and, you know, that's very sad and depressing because we wish that, you know, my husband was here with us. Um, so, you know, that's something that we're just still planning, trying to figure out, well, what can we do for the holidays to still make things fun and so it's not as depressing for us. Um, also, um, the good thing is the whole the third, fourth, and fifth month is that I've been losing weight or whatever. If you want to see my progress of like my weight loss or even like um, my tips and tricks for nutrition and health and fitness or whatever, check out my Instagram and my Facebook fan page, both are Fit Natural Bell, the same name or whatever. And I also have videos on here on um, health and fitness as well. So just make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow and like me on those. And also if you have like personal questions, you can just always email me or inbox me. But all of that is fit natural bell. But um yeah, so I've actually like steadily been losing weight, which is good. Not in a bad way. But um I've been still trying to shed baby weight for years. So it's I think with deployment it gave me something to really focus on and to really like do good at. So that was my thing. Like, yeah, I gotta have a hot bot when he comes back type of thing. But really just want to get more healthier for myself and just feel good about my body and myself after having kids. So that's pretty much it with the third, fourth, and fifth month. It's just been busy and overwhelming and crazy and happy and exciting and up and down and all over the place. Um, but we are actually over the halfway mark. My husband has about 
a little over three more months left so that's good i mean every day is still a struggle and feels like a year each day but when we look on the big picture it's like oh three and a half months is better than um nine months you know so oh and also we connect with a lot of other um spouses who um, military wives whose husbands are deployed or whatever we have like dinner dates and play dates so we just try to keep busy and really connect with other people so that we can vent to each other and it really you know makes me feel better at least so anyway if you guys have any questions or um more things you want me to talk about or whatever just please put it in the comment section or um, inbox me on facebook or send me an email so that is it and i'll see you guys next time